Welcome to Garland's Hot Applied Modified Bitumen Systems Application Excellence video. There are four key components to any successful roof system. Specifications and details tailored for the particular project, quality products, skilled workmanship, and regular inspections during and after the installation. This module of Application Excellence focuses solely on skilled workmanship. Although most are familiar and comfortable with installing modified bitumen cap sheets, our experience has shown that there are several key application techniques that are vital to ensuring your high-performance garland roof system performs as expected. Modified bitumen cap sheets have been around for decades. First developed in Europe in the 1960s, modified bitumen cap sheets were designed to incorporate the benefits of the proven built-up roof with revolutionary polymer chemistry. The result was a premium roof system that outperforms all other conventional low-slope roof systems. The Garland Company first began importing modified bitumen cap sheets into the United States in the mid-1970s. By 1978, Garland was manufacturing stress ply, one of the first U.S. manufactured polymer modified bitumen cap sheets. Since that time, Garland has continued to invest heavily in research and development to make our roof systems last longer. Improved polymers, increased polymer loadings, and stronger reinforcing scrims are just some of the innovations Garland has developed over the years. More recently, environmental awareness has prompted Garland to include recycled fillers, surfacing agents, and biocontent into several of our modified bitumen membranes. One of the benefits of modified bitumen products is that they can be installed in a variety of ways, hot applied, cold applied, torch applied, and self-adhered. The type of facility, location, access, deck and insulation type, climate, and customer requirements are a few of the reasons for the various application methods. This application guide will focus exclusively on hot applied application requirements. Prior to installation of the hot applied modified bitumen roof system, there are several items that must be reviewed. The contractor is responsible to ensure that all safety precautions are in place. Materials are to be stored on pallets and properly protected from the weather with a breathable waterproof covering. Any wet materials must be immediately removed from the job site and replaced with dry materials. All roll materials shall be stored on end to prevent becoming deformed or damaged. Roll materials should never be double stacked. Cool temperatures and precipitation will affect the application of hot applied modified bitumen roof systems. Never install modified bitumen cap sheets during precipitation. The chances of blisters is greatly increased. Modified bitumen rolls, base sheets, and asphalts become less flexible at low temperatures. Installation below 40 degrees Fahrenheit is not recommended. As temperatures begin to drop, the chances increase that modified bitumen sheets will be required to be rolled out and allowed to relax. Thicker, more robust modified sheets and sheets with a hefty amount of fiberglass in the scrim or those with extremely high tensile strengths will be more likely to require relaxing prior to installation. The amount of time required for relaxing the sheets is based on several factors, including the nighttime low temperature, amount of sunlight, and membrane thickness. Extremely white mineral cap sheets and cap sheets with Energy Star approved factory applied coatings are designed to be highly reflective. These white modified bitumen cap sheets will take longer to relax than darker colored sheets. In some cases, it will be necessary to unroll and cut the roll materials to a maximum of 18 foot lengths to allow for relaxation before application. These application procedures will minimize the occurrence of wrinkles and buckles. Insulation must be secured properly to the structural roof deck. Ensure that specified fastening patterns or adhesive rates are followed and pay particular attention to corners and perimeters which require enhanced uplift performance. Garland does not allow hot application of our modified bitumen roof systems directly to polyisocyanurate insulation or DENS deck. A cover board of wood fiber, perlite, or Securoc is required over the polyiso insulation. All insulation boards must be butted together with joints staggered. Mopping directly to type 2 base sheets in uninsulated roof decks is permitted, provided it is properly nailed according to wind uplift requirements. The most critical part of a hot applied modified bitumen roof system is the asphalt temperature. At the point of application of the modified bitumen, the mopping asphalt should be applied at its equiviscous temperature or EVT. According to the National Roofing Contractors Association, EVT is the temperature at which roofing asphalt attains a viscosity of 125 centipoise. 
For type 3 asphalt, this is typically 425 degrees Fahrenheit, plus or minus 25 degrees. For type 4 asphalt, EVT is typically 450 degrees Fahrenheit, plus or minus 25 degrees. Adequate asphalt temperatures are essential for adequate adhesion of SBS modified membranes. Asphalt is typically installed at the rate of 25 pounds per square per layer of roofing material. Layers of very hot asphalt are designed to melt the backside of the modified bitumen cap sheet to create a bond between all plies of the roof. It is important for the applicator to be aware of the extremely fast cooling rate of the liquid asphalt that has been applied to a roofing substrate. Components of the roofing system must be installed rapidly and close to the mop. Be sure that these components are well embedded. Mop strokes should not exceed 8 feet, shorter in cool weather. Failure to follow proper application techniques will result in poor membrane adhesion. Additional considerations during the application of hot applied modified bitumen roof systems include Many contractors prefer to use the ASTM D312 Type 3 asphalt. This is an acceptable asphalt for use with Garland's modified bitumen systems. However, many are also using Type 4 asphalt. Type 4 asphalt provides improved slip resistance and also has a slightly higher EVT, which improves adhesion to the modified bitumen roof system. Do not fly in or mop and flop Garland modified bitumen sheets. This can lead to air pockets and potential blisters. Continuous solid moppings of asphalt are required. Make sure to push a puddle of asphalt in front of the roll and allow excess asphalt to bleed out. In some cases, brooming in the sheet directly after it is set in hot asphalt will help improve adhesion. All side laps must be 4 inches and all end laps must be at least 8 inches. Apply pressure to the seams during installation to ensure proper adhesion. With mineral surface cap sheets, immediately broadcast loose minerals into the bleed out while the asphalt is still hot. Mineral lap coatings can also be used to dress up seams when aesthetics are critical to a particular project. The roof application should be scheduled so that there are no partially completed portions of the roof left exposed. Phasing the roof is not permitted and often leads to voids and blisters. As the work progresses on a day-to-day -day basis, it is essential that each section of the roof be completed as specified. Night tie-ins should be provided at exposed edges at the close of each day. Tie-ins must be removed prior to resuming construction of the roof assembly. During the installation of Garland Modified Bitumen Membrane, it is important to periodically check the application. Roofs are not designed to be tabletop smooth, and some irregularities should be expected. Solid lumps and bumps are not unusual and will not affect the integrity of the completed roof system. Be sure to cut out fish mouths and voids and repair with additional layers of modified membrane. Round the corners and butt up against the slope seams to minimize water bucking at the seams. Prior to any surfacing, a thorough inspection by your local Garland representative is required. These recommendations are intended to be general guidelines for proper application of Garland's hot applied modified bitumen cap sheets. Always refer to the project specifications or contact your local Garland representative for tailored system requirements which are unique for each project.